There was definitely something there, but it was weak. Claustrophobia, ghosts, and complete darkness. Join us as we go 24 hours underground. Put the fucking night fishing on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Scariest Places. My name's Annette Peelding and today I've brought my team to... Carl, did you just see something then? I uh, think that was just the wind. Something's just put the willies right up me. I think we should go somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Come on viewers. Today, myself and the Scariest Places team have come to Brentwood, Essex, where the locals might not all be living. A place that's rumoured to be set with hauntings of ghosts, dark spirits and evil phenomenies. A place known only as Kelverden Hatch. Hidden deep in the woods of Kelverden Hatch is this bungalow. A bungalow that to you and any other onlooker might just look like a normal bungalow. But this bungalow holds more secrets than Joey Essex's quiff. Over a hundred metres under this bungalow lies a free floor nuclear bunker. And according to TripAdvisor, it's the fifth best attraction that Brentwood has to offer. So now viewers, I'm outside the bunker with our resident ghostbuster, Chris O'Beef. Paranormal investigator. Like I said, the resident ghostbuster, Chris O'Beef, and he's going to tell us more about this bunker. Well, it was built in the 50s during the Cold War time. Uh, the land was commandeered by the Chris, government. Is it haunted? As I say, it was commandeered by the government. Uh, they wanted to build a Cold War bunker so there could be a continuity of government if Darling, there was a um, nuclear. All they want to know is it haunted? Because even if it's not, yeah? That's what they want to know. So we give them what they want, darling. What? Is it haunted? Shall I just tell you about the place? Go on. It's built in the 50s for a continuity of government. So if there was a nuclear war, then all the people from the government would be safe underground, because it goes quite far down underground. Then the government could so continue. So is it haunted? The government could continue, and uh, you know, hopefully if there's any survivors is afterwards, there would be, shh. If it's haunted or not? Yes. Yes, it's haunted. There you go. You've heard it straight from the Ghostbusters' mouth. This place is haunted. And because he's here, you've got nobody else you can call. We've just entered the secret nuclear bunker and I've been left alone. And let me tell you something, viewers. This place is so scary. It makes my hair stand on end. I've got to get this. It's my daughter. Hello, Fanny. Yes, yes, darling, yes. No, no, look, look, Mummy's busy at the minute, yeah. Oh, no, you haven't been going out in the rain, have you? You've gotten yourself all wet. What are you like? Yes, yes, Daddy's here, yes. He's, he's just in another room setting up some ghosts. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, darling, you know you're too young to come. Yeah. Maybe when you're older, um, we'll all come together, you know. It'll be amazing. Um, anyway, darling, Mummy's got to go. I, I think I've just seen a phenomenon in the corner. Yeah. OK, darling, bye, bye. So sorry about that. Can, can we just start again? We finally entered deep into the bunker here at Calverton Hatch. A secret bunker that only you viewers at home and myself know about. 
But I can't do this investigation alone. I've had to call in the professionals, and that's these guys. Merrick Laura and Dick Feel it. Richard. Like I said, Dick Feel it. He's a local historian here at Helverton Hatch. So guys, which part of the bunker are you looking forward to investigating the most? Well, I don't know about you, um, Annette, but what I'm excited about the most is the sleeping facilities. Yeah. I would love to go and investigate them for at least half an hour alone, just so I can get used to the area. Mm. Is that, would that be okay after this? We can this? do that. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, I won't sure. need anyone with me. Mm. Dick? I'd like to go in the government offices. I think we might see something interesting. Yeah, so we're about to start the investigation. What I've done is I've sent two members of our team, who are probably going to get scared the most, into a very, very scary place. Please join us on our investigation at Calverdon Hatch. Secret nuclear bunker. Stu? What a lot of them. Stu? What a lot? Of... Something's pulling me down, bed. What a lot of them. Oh Are you that annoyed? What a lot? Stu? Seriously? It's pulling me down, bed. Oh, I'm not liking this Stu? at all. Stu? <laughs> what? I'm a, I'm a moving. I'm a moving, Stu. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you oh. are, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm too scared to get up. Carl! I wanna go. I wanna go now. Annette! Now. Annette! Carl! Dick! Oh my god! Oh Dick! Are you there, Dick? Oh my god! Oh no, I wanna get out. I wanna get out. I oh. keep telling you, it's Richard! Carl, you weren't recording that what we were doing in the toilet before. Well, I. Listen, you know that those were my special knickers and Annette, I don't want it then. Uh, Annette, Carl, I think you really need to come and see this. Yeah, you better not it, have. Well, Rick it, is it's making history. What, Dick? It's Richard. Oh. There's Merrick. God, what? Are you getting this? Merrick? Merrick, what are you doing? I used to have a girlfriend like her till I punch her death. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my God, professionals. Sure. What that, then? Sure. What that, then? I think the only way we're going to do it is if you just get in bed with me. Why, what? Experience being pulled down bed. Oh, all right, no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Just, just I, don't, here, sure. I don't like this. Sure. I don't like it. Just lie down. I don't like it. Oh, my God. I don't like it. Sure. What? Oh, I'm, sure. being, I'm being pulled. Sure. I'm being oh. pulled! Oh, sure. Oh. You're so oh. soft! Oh. You're so soft! Oh. It's what, are you okay. sure. what are you doing? What are you doing? This is worse! Sure. What are you oh. doing? Girl, come here! What are you doing? Stay. Shh! Shh! Sure. Help! Oh, yeah. Carl! Sure. Carl! Carl! Oh. Get off me! Carl! Carl! Get off! After we'd had some nibbles, a cup of tea, and some bonbons, myself, Dick, Carl and Merrick went down to the lower levels to start the investigation. We've come down into the BBC room. This is the lowest part of the bunker. Basically, it's the lowest of the low. Any lower and we'd probably be with Satan. Now this is the room that's probably haunted the most. And we're here to find out if we can see anything. Oh my God, when I said that, did you feel it? I did. I did feel it. Oh. I don't know where it came from, oh. but I felt... Oh, the... Carl! Annette, Annette, calm down. Yes. Annette. I'm sorry. Annette, just calm down, okay? I'm scared of Miriam Shadow down well, here, Mary. Why don't you speak to him? Why do you call out? Do it productively. Go for it. Does anybody there? Please come forward. Tell us your story. Come forward. Getting anything? I'll speak to Peter, okay? Yeah. Okay, Peter, yes. What's he saying? Okay, well, if you, you bear me a minute. Okay, thank you, Peter, okay. What I am getting, Annette, what I am getting... Yeah? ...is that there is a man and he's no. here now. No, oh. calm down. There is a man and... Yes, Peter, yes. He... he he's the builder. He, he built... No. 
he he was here when this place was being built, okay? And he's holding up some bones. He's oh. got two bones. And and he's angry, Annette. And he's shaking them bones oh. right in his face. And there's more bones. There are bones everywhere. Can't get out. And these bones, it's like a bone orgy. Okay. And this is ridiculous. Just bear me a second. What was that, Peter? <laughs> I can't tell him that. I can't tell him that. What can't you tell him? Well, with you being a septic. A S septic? Yeah, a non-believer. I can't divulge what Peter is telling me. I do believe. Okay, I will. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm allowed to tell you what Peter said. Okay. And what Peter has told me is that you, um, you should f off. Yeah, you should f off, boss. So we've come down into the entrance tunnel just to do a nighttime vigil. So Merrick, are you feeling anything? Well, to be honest, uh, Annette, I'm feeling a little bit tired. All oh, right, is, is that to do with the energy, what's going on here? No, I had to pick up an extra shift in Nando's, so that's why, obviously, yeah, yeah. Explains it, explains it. Um, so, have you picked up on anything while we've been down here? Okay, well, I've just been speaking to Peter and I'm just gonna, okay, okay, thank you, God bless Peter, yes. Thank you, God bless. What Peter is telling me is that on on this um, entrance here, yeah, there is there is a, what I'm seeing is a lady. Oh my God, you're not. I'm seeing a lady, and she 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 walks. She walks like this. Merrick, does she reside here, or is she in visitation? Um, if I knew what that meant, I could tell you. Right. But what I can tell you, what Peter allows me to know, is mm. that she lives here. And she's right, not, right. she is in the oh in-between. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Did you just... I've seen you here before. Who me, sir? I don't think you have. This is... Last this is... week, on the tour. I was wondering why I recognised what you were saying. Um. Merrick? Merrick, you okay? Calm down, Merrick. S sorry, viewers, sometimes, sometimes when the activity's really high, come back to us, Merrick. Merrick. Please get me out of here, Ned. Get me out Let's of here. Let's go. Calm, me, turn it off. Turn get me off. out of here. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Get me out of here, please. Please. Come on, Merrick, come back, come back. Get me out of here. Watching back over our footage, we can see actual real phenomenies flying around. Was it one of these that bopped Merrick on the head? Or was it actually the extra shift at Nando's that brought him crashing to his knees? So what have we learned from our 24 hour investigation? It was dark, Merrick had helped himself to the condiments and Dick did try to feel it. We've come to the end of our investigation here in Brentwood and I can gladly say that myself and the Scariest Places team all survived. We also discovered that the cast of Tawi aren't the scariest things in Essex. I can honestly say that this is the most activity I have ever had and also the most satisfying. But it's clear that something remains here, deep inside the cold dark bunker something longing to be released from its underground incarceration. Where next time will the scary world of ghost whispering, Star Trek and possession lead us? Until next time, sleep tight and don't let the beddy bugs bite. Carl! Make millions from this, darling. And you can't even pay professionals. <laughs>